Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I saw a user post out there where they had this question. They wanted to know how do I put in three sets of criteria? So normally um, this client had a location and they had different types for their data. And then the third set they had is January, February, the month. So they weren't quite sure, once I put in February, how do I chart that? So I've already set up my data so that I'm doing a stacked column chart by location for each type. So you see location one has three different bars or columns on top of it in a stacked format. Uh, but they just weren't sure, and you might not be sure, where do I put February? How do I set up my data so that when I have three sets of data criteria, uh, can I create a chart? And let me show you how you go about doing that. What you want to do is you want to reimagine your data in a different way. What you want to do if you're using a stacked column chart or column chart or bar chart is you can use the multi-category access option that Excel already has in it, but you'll need to rearrange your data. So you remember if we go back to the previous data, we had location on the top and we had all our various types um, on the left-hand side according to the, how the user had set it up. Um, and when you create your chart, it just shows up like you see here. However, um, what we want to do is we want to move location over onto the left. We want to stack that by month, and then we want to put the types up at the very top. Let's go ahead and take a look at that again. So what we have is we have the types up on top, and we've put that down. Um, first, in our column A, we have our different months that we want to show. And so this is going to be our multi-level multi category access. It's going to be January, February, March, and then within January, February, and March, and this is the reason why we've put these here, uh, we have locations. If we go back to our original chart, you notice locations are on the horizontal axis. Um, and then finally, uh, you put your types up on top, and you can create your chart. Let's go ahead and highlight it. Our data range, go up to the Insert menu, go over to Charts, click on Charts, and we're going to do a stacked column chart. Now let's take a look at it in a little bit further detail and what we have is you can see we've got January in its in a group grouped by location that's why we put January 1st with a lot of blank cells then our different locations and then we to do our stacks for type 1 2 and 3 we have those by location over in the data table area now uh, that you can see how Excel is stacking your data in your multi-level category axis let's double click on the axis and take a look at where that shows up um, on your Format Access Options dialog box, if we get rid of Access Options, tick marks, and if you go to Labels, you'll notice that Multi-Level Category Labels is what you're actually seeing here. So if I uncheck this, uh, you'll see January is still there, February is still there, but it's not um, putting our different tick marks in there, um, and it's in order to break up the data into further groupings. So that's where you'll end up finding it. Uh, under 2000, Excel 2013 is labels, multi-level category labels. I think in Excel 2010 and 2007, it just says multi-level category under the access type. So hopefully you've learned how you can now group your data so that if you have what you feel are three different data types, in this case type, by location, by month, how you can use a multi-category access in order to show your data a little bit better. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please head on over to my blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Also, consider subscribing to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.